To connect your security system to the cloud, you'll need a Video Loft Cloud Adapter, which can back up a local MVR or DVR or replace one completely. Whether you've got one site or thousands, Video Loft can add off-site cloud storage and a sophisticated video management system. The cloud adapter comes in a small 8 or 16 channel version, or we've got a larger rack-mounted cloud adapter enterprise which supports 64 channels. There's also an option to download the virtual cloud adapter software onto your own hardware. Whichever variant you're using, you just need to make sure that your cameras are on the same local network as the cloud adapter, and you can watch any of our installation videos to see how to set them up. Once it's connected, you can watch your live feeds and recorded video events from the Video Loft web browser, mobile app, or a local monitor connected to the cloud adapter. When you log into Video Loft on a web browser, you'll see your camera live feeds. When you hover over them, you'll see their name and online or offline status. You can filter by name, status, tags, or groups. You can create and save custom layouts where you can choose which cameras to show at different sizes. You're also able to view your cameras in presentation mode where you specify which cameras to show and rotate through your camera feeds in full screen. Viewing your cameras in the app is very similar to the web, but these aren't live streams, they're thumbnails, so still images that refresh whenever motion is detected. There's three different viewing options up here. Finally, you can also watch your live feeds over the local network using a monitor that's connected to the cloud adapter via a micro HDMI cable. To view an individual camera, you just click on it so the live feed is at the top and below you have all the recorded video events. To watch an event, just tap play. You can also download it to your device or share it via email, text or WhatsApp. Each event has a duration and a motion score. The higher the number, the larger the motion. You can also filter your events by date. And if you have an analytics plan, you can filter by object detected. In the web viewer, there are a few more options when it comes to viewing recorded footage. You can go to a specific camera and search by date and time to find what you are looking for. You can then play the event and download or delete, and you can select multiple events at once to download or delete in bulk. If you have a Video Loft analytics plan, you can search by object detected too, so that pulls up all events that have people in them. If you don't know which camera picked up the footage you're looking for, just go to the Motion Events tab, and here you can apply the same searches across all of your cameras at once. Often, if something important happens, there may be action on multiple cameras. The Playback tool is great for seeing this. Here, you can select a subset of cameras and see the action play out across them all at once. Cameras with pan, tilt and zoom functionality can be controlled remotely through the Video Loft app. And for those with support for two-way audio, you can also talk through the app too. There's lots of things you can control remotely in the camera settings. Here we have recording mode. You can choose whether your plan is for motion triggered recording or continuous recording. Video quality depends on the resolution of your cameras, so we can send video to the cloud at standard definition 2, 4 or 8 megapixels. Then here we've got whether sound is being recorded, whether PTZ or two-way audio is enabled. And here we get onto the motion detection. So you have a sensitivity threshold and if you set it to 1 it will trigger when really small motion is detected and on 10 it will trigger on big motion events. Then we have detection zones. You can mask out certain areas of the screen by drawing over them if you don't want that area to trigger a motion detection event. You can receive motion alerts by push notification, email notification or both. You can also set schedules for these alerts, so you might only want to receive the notification during working hours.
As well as recording settings, there are lots of things you can manage to make the Videoloft VMS work best for you. You can rename your cameras, add tags and create groups of cameras. You can also add additional users so others can view your cameras. Just enter the user's email address, choose which cameras you'd like them to have access to and set their permission level.